Hey everyone, this is a quick video uh, describing how to calibrate the sticks on a Spectrum DX6i. I was setting up a helicopter recently and found that my throttle stick was uh, a little bit off on its setup. When you look at the uh, center stick, uh, you see in the monitor screen down here that it is a little bit high. So I can go to the endpoint seem to be set correctly. We bring that up and bring that down and the endpoint, but when I bring it to center, if I look at the center on the monitor, I can see that uh, on the lines on the throttle stick itself, it was it's one whole click off from being center. If I put it up to center, then the indicator is even farther up here instead of right dead in the middle where it's supposed to be. This caused me a lot of problems on my helicopter uh, CCPM setup. Um, and after a, quite a bit of research on the forums, I was able to, to find a post figuring out how to recalibrate these. And I'm surprised there's no uh, YouTube video out, videos out there on this, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick one here to describe how it's done. So uh, in order to get this lined up to where the center of the throttle is to the center of that stick, or if any of these other sticks are off for that matter, um, it's an easy enough thing to do to calibrate it. So the first thing we'll do is turn off the transmitter and then we need to make sure that the throttle hold is actually towards you. The gear, the elevator, dual rate, the gyro is set on zero and the aileron um, dual rate is also set on zero so these are going to be the the buttons that were the switches that we mess with when it comes time to calibrate everything so let me try to get this back into view here once that's on then we need to reach in and on the take the two horizontal trims squeeze them towards the middle and then turn on the power to the spectrum and once you do that, you can see on the screen down here, it will actually give us a small menu that shows us what some numerical values for each one of the um, for each one of those channels. And what we have going across the top here is throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder. And the going down the left-hand column is the up middle and down positions. So what you're seeing is a number value. The up is, you know, some arbitrary number of 879 and down is 065 and somewhere in the middle is 460. We don't really need to know these numbers and as people say write them down, but I don't think you need to write them down according to um, the method that it's done here. Now that we see what's going on, we can calibrate all the positions, the down, the middle, and the up positions, and let's calibrate them all. So the first thing you would do is take the elevator dual rate switch and flip it down to one. And when we do that, it changes the screen down here, and it's going to look for the lowest position on all four of these channels. So really, you're looking for the lowest value, and whatever, you know, high or low, we just take this whole thing and roll it around and then when I'm done I'm going to put that right in the middle so that the next time I can do that and we'll take this one and rotate it all the way around too now it's looking for the lowest point on all four of those channels with that movement at all the extremes somewhere in there it's going to find that lowest point the next thing we'll do is flip that one back up now we're going to go to the middle one and the middle we find center stick there we'll flip it down and then flip it right back up. We haven't moved anything, it's in the center, it will find it. Um, if you wanted to move this off of center, basically you put that position wherever you want, flip that switch down and then back, and it will set that as your new zero. But we're definitely not going to do that.
The last thing we'll do is set the upper limits on all of these. So we'll flip the aileron switch down to one and take both of our sticks again and just move them around. Flip it back up to zero. Now once that's done, we go up to the throttle hold and we just flip that back. When we do that, our screen goes blank and we hit the roller button one time and we'll hear three beeps and it will bring it back to a normal monitor mode on whatever channel you had the last time. And if we look down in here, actually we'll leave it out, we'll see that zero is now zero on my throttle even though it was off before. Our endpoints are set and each one of these channels is now calibrated center to center and it's good to go. So that's really about all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions don't ask me. I don't know anything about this but uh, this is what I figured out uh, based on an RC Groups post and the Hella Freak post. So, hope it's useful to somebody. Uh, good luck and enjoy.